All right, guys, I just wanted to do a short video today on turning your stirrup leathers. This is my saddle. This is an old King saddle. It's what I ride. I like it. It's been a good old saddle for me. This is my wife's saddle. It's a Hereford, but uh, those are our saddles we ride in all the time. But you know how whenever you store your, your saddle and it's sitting on a rack, most of the time it's just sitting like this. Your stirrup sitting like that, right? So you always have this pressure keeping your keeping your foot turned out, right? Well, watch this. Whenever I let go of this stirrup, it automatically turns. Just like just like she was sitting in it. Just like she was sitting in it with her foot and stirrup. See how they're straight? Alright. The reason why they stay straight, just like you are whenever you ride them, is because of that stick you see here. See my saddle? I got this stick ran through it. You turn your saddle leathers the way they would be whenever you're riding them, whenever you're riding your horse. You just run that stick through there, through both sides. It goes through both both sides. And uh, when you run that through there and leave it like that, then your saddle leathers stay turned the right way. So whenever you are riding your horse, you don't have that fatigue of your saddle leathers trying to pull your toes in you know so that's the way i do it i just run a stick through my uh through my stirrups make sure i turn them the right way where it's holding pressure against that leather so that way it stays turned then it takes all that pressure off my knees and ankles all right guys that's all i got for you all right thanks for watching all right guys another thing about your stirrups being turned the right way all the time when you swing your leg over your horse, it's easier to get your foot right in the stirrup if that stirrup is already turned in the position it needs to be in. And another thing, I always ride in these boots. See the rounded toe? It is easier to get that rounded toe inside of that stirrup than it is that square toe. Square toes are for farming and tractor use. Round toes, riding horses. And you also want a slick bottom. The slickest bottom you can find. Those aren't real slick, but the slicker the bottom, the better off you are because then your foot can come in and out of the stirrup a lot easier also. You don't want a big, heavy, lugged boot and uh, trying to get your foot in and out of the stirrup. But that's it. See ya.